We are at the base of the Vermilion Cliffs, part of Vermilion Cliffs National Monument in Northern Arizona. And we are headed to the Grand Canyon for a couple of days. We're gonna be at the North Grand Canyon. And then we're going to go from there down to White Pocket for the next couple of days after that. hooked up and ready to go. Pretty cool little structure built around this rock. And we're just gonna go up and check out what's inside. Mm -hmm. Got a chimney. Good morning from the north rim of the Grand Canyon. We are at Saddle Mountain Overlook, which is on Kaibab National Forest. Um, we always try to choose areas we can go with the dogs and, you know, be able to utilize the area with them. So this was uh, definitely high on our list of places to go where we're going to be able to have beautiful views of the Grand Canyon and be able to have them with us. The drive-in last night was absolutely beautiful. There was uh, tons of aspens and it is peak fall color so we'll definitely have to get some video of that later today. Well we got up for sunrise and took a little bit of drone video and just kind of show you the campsite here. We are all set up and we're doing more of an overland style trip this trip so we're probably going to move most days but really great location here at Saddle Mountain got the uh, forest road that comes in here and there's a couple of different camps on the way down to the trailhead there so pretty crazy right from our camp just down the way here is the entrance, not the entrance, but an entrance to Grand Canyon National Park. So our campsite's just to the right at the end of the Aspens on that side. And then there's just this trail right here. Can't let the dogs go in. Hey, this way. Stay. Uh -uh. Aspen. All right, we are off on our first hike on Saddle Mountain Trail. And uh, we're going to go out at least to that point. I mean, I'm sure we're going to go further than that, but beautiful area. All right, well, we started up there, worked our way down. Trail here. And it keeps going up that way. I don't know that we're gonna go too much further, but there's a couple of areas with good viewpoints. It's just crazy beautiful. Got a little peninsula here. And just a nice view. Apparently. Well, between the elevation and the lack of switchbacks, pretty much just stair climbing, it is not the easiest trail, but the views are incredibly worth it. We are getting ready to go to a new campsite. We want to find some more fall trees and maybe a little bigger area so the dogs can run. Stay tuned. Lydia. Speedy.
She doesn't want to talk. She's not into being interviewed. Well, while that was an absolutely beautiful spot, we wanted to move on and try to camp near some of the more peak fall color aspens a little bit north of this on the main road to get to North Grand Canyon. So we're gonna head on our way and find a new spot and we'll show you what it looks like when we get there. Found this gorgeous fall camp spot. The dogs are enjoying themselves, and this one's much more secluded, so we should have a good time here. All right, we're gonna take a walk down. So this is the road we came in on, and we are gonna walk down. This is a little T that comes off this road, and it looks like it just dead ends according to Onyx maps. But we came here for fall, and it looks like more fall leaves this way. Just cutting some firewood for a real fire tonight. Well, it's a little early in the day. It's only 2.30, but figured get our fire rolling. We're planning on just kind of hanging out in this area until uh, tomorrow. So get some nice hot coals going and then uh, conserve the rest of our firewood pile and keep working on building it up for this evening. <laughs> I found this rock. I thought it might be a geode, so I cut it in half. And there's just this really cool fossil in the middle of it. Almost looks like, I don't know, a worm? <laughs> Something. It's like those little shells. Yeah. But there's, on the other half, it's the, the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. Really looks cool. like a potato, but it's not. <laughs> What you make? Lemon pepper chicken. Yep. We warm the pan with butter and some fresh garlic, or if you're camping, squeeze garlic. And then coat the chicken with lemon pepper seasoning. You cook the chicken first. So we'll let this cook. And then we're going to add lemon and let those brown. And then put our asparagus on. And let the lemon juice soak up into the asparagus. And then you put the chicken back on to get all the flavors together. Take the chicken off for a minute. Okay, and then we're gonna lay our lemon slices down. And brown those up. Make those nice and green. It just started to rain a little bit. So we're gonna get the awning out. Watch that. Everything that's 
yellow now is going to be brown. All right, we are just wrapping up our evening. Got done eating dinner and uh, hanging out in the campy a little bit. The dogs are quite tired. Mm -hmm. They uh, went on multiple walks this morning and then the bigger hike. And then we ran them once we got here. So And walked a lot And here. walked a lot here too. Yeah, and we've all, well, I've been up with them since five so long day but we're probably gonna get to bed pretty early and then head towards white pocket in the morning well good morning from kaibab national forest um, today is our last day in this area before we move down to the blm land around white pocket so we uh pretty much packed up for the most part last night and we're just enjoying a little bit of morning time before we get on our way uh, headed east. We're really happy we were able to catch a little bit of the fall colors and uh, spend a night somewhere unique that we haven't been before. Glenna threw Lydia's Frisbee and it rolled you know we always roll it on the ground and it bounced off of something and then landed perfectly up in this tree so we got a tall stick to get it out <laughs> All right, we are headed to Ver Vermilion Cliffs White Pocket area, and the uh, Vermilion Cliffs is just behind me there. So we're gonna get on our way. It's a little bit cloudy and raining. Currently. Shouldn't be too bad of a drive. 